just couldn't. He's absolutely right. Comment, you hardly see men saying we don't need a woman. You never hear any woman in any other community saying they don't need their men except black women. And he's absolutely right. Quick history lesson, white women's liberation movement. You don't know anything about it, I would tell you to pick up a few books and read about it because it has never benefited black women. It benefited white women, right? As did affirmative action. <laughs> Here's the quick synopsis, right? Back in the day, white women decided that they wanted equality. They no longer wanted to just be in the house, be uh, stay-at-home moms. So they started this whole movement of burn your bra, equal pay, yada, yada, yada. And they brought in all these other ethnicities. Specifically, they also brought in black women. Now, here's the thing. Black women took that movement and compounded it on steroids. Now you have black women screaming, fuck niggas, I don't need, I need the bag, this, that, and this, and that, and the other, right? But let's be clear as to why this is happening. Racism. And institutionalized racism to, racism to be exact. The reason you don't hear these other ethnicities screaming about that is because they understand in order to build real generational wealth, right, you're going to need a two-party system to do it. We are the only ethnicity that are quick to talk about how we can do shit alone, but we still don't have the finances, the wealth, or the power that they do. Just take a moment to simmer on that. That is why, what, almost 200 years after slavery, and I understand, right, things like racism and other things have caused us to, like, continue to be, uh, continue to be an issue. But we're making the work easy for them by saying things like, we don't need one another. By saying, fuck niggas, fuck bitches, go get the money. Money is great, but guess what's even greater when you can build together? Because two bags are better than one. Hmm. And for a lot of you, you're going to disagree with me, and that's fine, right? But here's my attitude. Go read. Go read about the white women's liberation movement. Go read about how this racist institution caused black women to be single mothers and still to this day the least desired of all the ethnicities and the least likely to be married. You're making it easy for them, sis. Here's my advice. Work on yourself. Vet better. And stop saying you don't need anybody because you do. You're tired, you're sad, you're bitter. I see it all on the internet. Hmm, that's my comment for the day. Let's dish. Because I'm sure there's going to be someone on this platform that's going to come and tell me I'm wrong. And then I'm going to give them a list of books they can read so they can figure it out for themselves.